you have the Vortex Sync. It looks like this. It's an older phone, but you're having problems with it either powering on or taking a charge. Well, here's th six things to check. The first thing to check is because the back case is removable, what if you don't have the back case clicked all the way on? And one way to check that is to just very gently squeeze. Oh, and we had a little bit uh, to close, and now it powers on. So number one, check to make sure that the back is clicked all the way in. Number two, if you've had your phone for a while, and maybe in a case, it's possible that you can get some dirt and grime accumulated on the inside here where the buttons meet the device. Oh. So the buttons are on the case itself, and then the electronics are here. And it's possible you can have dirt or grime. Use an old paintbrush or an old toothbrush, and if you have dirt and grime, you can clean up the buttons on the inside, clean up the buttons on this side. And if you want to be even more delicate, just use a microfiber cloth to wipe those surfaces out and make sure that they're clean. The next thing to check is your battery itself. Sometimes these older batteries, some people haven't seen what a failed battery looks like, but it starts to get puffy and break at the seams. And you definitely can feel that even though you can't, you know, you can see a little bit how it gets rounded there. So if your Vortex battery is starting to get rounded, it's possible that it won't take a charge or it's possible that it discharges very, very quickly. So change up your battery if that's the case. The next thing to check is your charging port. Sometimes a charging port can get full of grime, dust, and goo. And take a look inside. Let's see if we can get a good look. This one's clean, but if yours happens to be have dust on the edges, a trick that you can use is usually these newer SIM pins can work, and you can very, very gently clean out some dust or debris that's in there. And if you don't have that, use a very small sewing needle, and that sewing needle also very carefully clean out that charging port. All right, the next thing is to actually check your chargers. So sometimes, unfortunately, the brick fails, the cords fail. Usually it's the cords fail because we're a little rough in them or they bend. So you, you need to either plug your cord into another device to see if that device takes a charge or borrow a, another charger from somewhat friend, family member, or coworker to see if it will uh, charge correctly. And then, you know, obviously make sure that you are uh, putting it in correctly and that you get that click. Let's do that again so you can hear. You should still get a nice clean click like that. And the last thing to check, which sounds silly, but make sure that the charger that you or the outlet that you're plugging your charger in actually has electricity coming to it. Sometimes the outlets at the office or outlets at home fail, plug a lamp or a fan to make sure that that outlet actually has electricity. So those are the six things to check for your Vortex Sync to make to one if you're wondering why it's not getting power or not taking a charge. Hey, if this has helped you, please like Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And if you want a quick trick to see if you can make your Vortex Sync run even faster, watch this video next.